the race for developing the world's first artificial blood has been going on for decades, but 2025 seems to be the year we've gotten the closest to achieving it. Three patients in the UK became the first people ever to receive lab-grown blood cells in the first clinical trial of its kind called Restore. But the thing is, this natural process in our body is not easy to replicate. Our bodies make about 2 million red blood cells every second. Right now, the lab can make about eight milliliters at a time, costing roughly 75,000 per dose. Now compare that to donated blood around $200 per pint, and you can see the challenge. The main hurdle with this method is cost. However, the solution might be turning these artificial blood cells into specialized medicine delivery systems. Imagine red blood cells that slowly release cancer drugs for months or enhanced cells that carry more oxygen than normal human blood. But developing a reliable artificial blood has been top priority for scientists around the world. Blood is one of the most valuable liquids in the world. One barrel of blood is worth around a thousand times more than one barrel of oil. And this is for two main reasons. One, because it's an incredibly short supply due to less people donating blood and because it's incredibly hard to store. Platelets last five days. Red blood cells last 42 days. And guess what? The problem isn't logistical, it's economic. Get this, insurance doesn't cover pre-hospital blood transfusions, so most ambulances just don't carry it even though patient survival increases significantly when blood is given prior to hospital admission. For these reasons and many more, developing artificial blood has been a high priority. And one company came very close. Back in the 1990s, a company called Baxter thought they cracked artificial blood. They made it all the way to phase three clinical trials before things went very wrong. 24 patients died and the entire field basically shut down for three decades. Turns out their artificial blood was scavenging nitric oxide, a molecule that keeps your blood vessels open and relaxed. Without it, patients' blood vessels were constricting when they needed circulation the most. Now, 30 years later, scientists are back at the drawing board in full force. For the Restore trial, at least, the goal isn't just replacing blood, it's improving on what evolution gave us. But tomorrow, I'm dropping a video about scientists who may have actually achieved artificial blood. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at TIL Science.